it was an amazing win in Portland. You know, like I said, it was really a dream come true. And, um, and just the way I played and the way I felt that whole week was incredible and something that I'm hoping to repeat. Um, you know, I didn't feel nerves on Sunday until the 18th hole where I knew I had a nine stroke lead and all I had to do was not screw up on this one hole and I'd have the win. You know, just thinking back, trying to, to do the same things um, every week now and just trying to improve a little bit so I can repeat that, that feeling. You know, the Olympics, as a little girl, I dreamt of playing the Olympics, but I had no idea how I was going to do it, what sport or anything. And I just remember seeing the, the passion and the hard work and the determination that all those athletes put in. And I was like, man, I want to be an Olympian. Um, and then just a few short years ago, you know, I learned that golf was going to be back in the Olympics. Canada was defending champions, and um, I was possibly going to have the chance to do it. Um, so I, I worked hard to get my Rolex ranking up uh, to the position that it's in now where it looks like I'll be able to go and represent my country. There's not many scenarios like ours where, you know, growing up as a little girl, I wanted to be just like my older sister. Um, she's six years older and I was just always following in her footsteps. Um, you know, and our dad is our coach and has been since uh, a little girl and, you know, most importantly, he is our dad and he's our father and, and being able to spend every day on the course together is, is really an amazing feeling and then you look over the sidelines and there's mom waving so you know it's uh, it's an incredible family atmosphere. I remember looking up to Lexi Thompson and Lydia Ko and Jessica Corder you know some of the younger players on tour and now I'm one of those it's an amazing feeling and you know little kids come up to me now and want my autograph and things like that and you know I still want other people's autographs I want Julie Inkster's autograph and I think the most important thing for me on the LPJ is that I'm living my dream every single day and I get to wake up and do something that I love and, and I get to meet so many incredible people all around the globe, you know, whether it's players or, or fans or supporters of the game. Um, and it's just a, an amazing way to live my life.